Hey everybody, it's me, Ned, and Piccolo Ned. Um, and it's late, and I don't have time for this. But this rosé from the Isle of Lanzarote uh, in the Canary Islands is insane. Um, this is Liston Negro rosé. Um, uh, I should do some looking up on this. I don't think Liston Negro is anything else. I don't think Liston Negro is actually Pais masquerading as a different grape variety, but um, the Canary Islands are weird because they were colonized back in the 16, mid 1600s, mid 1600s, Piccolo Ned? Um, and the people who colonized them from Spain brought over all these grapes that then went extinct during the whole phylloxera um, catastrophe in Europe. So there's a whole bunch of grapes on um, Lanzarote, on, on, in the Canaries, Lanzarote is one of the islands. There's a whole bunch of grapes in the Canaries that are um, just not grown anywhere else. Um, or that are called names uh, that we would recognize like Malvasia, but may not actually be like what we think is Malvasia. It may be a different thing, different variety. So anyway. Um, Bermejos, the Isle of Lanzarote is a volcanic volcano, Volca it's Volcano Island. This rosé comes from Volcano Island, uh, 120 kilometers, I think, something like that, off the coast of Africa. Um, it's the closest of the Canary Islands to the, to the coast of Africa. It has a really beautiful, powerful aroma. It's really vivid, raspberry, strawberry, cherry, a little, a little bit of bubble gum, not in a dumb way, but like a kind of fun, surprising way. Um, cherry Jolly Rancher. Not, you know, no, wait, 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 I take that back. I'm getting old. My memories of candy from when I was a kid. Watermelon Jolly Rancher. Also just watermelon, but it's like concentrated watermelon aroma. Can you smell this? Is it even, can you, can you? I gotta get you more upright if I'm gonna get the glass underneath your nose. Um, look, don't let the baby distract you. Uh, that's what I should take my own advice. Can you smell that? <laughs> wow. Um, it's a really pretty, really powerful aroma. A little bit of like, like cooked rhubarb, like rhubarb pie sort of to it too. Um, man, I just keep coming back to this. It makes me think of like Provençal, like Bandol Rosé, like really serious, powerful Provençal Rosé, but, but more substantial, more powerful, more like more to it, but still with beautiful finesse. And it's the same thing on the palate. Um, it's ripe and there's substantial body. It fills your mouth. It's got mouth feel. It's got like salty minerality to it, but it's also got really vivid like acidity. It's really, really beautiful. Um, more of that like fresh raspberry, strawberry, watermelon on the palate. But also more cherry, and it's got a, it's got a really excellent uh, saltiness to it, like a real savory quality that comes in in the mid palate, and then all the way through, that like draws out the palate and draws out the finish of the wine, um, while while still also having that that fruit characteristic. 
Um, it's just delicious. It like, you know, it's rich in mouth filling, but it wakes my palate up. It's really, um, really, really energetic, really, uh, it's a little bit of a weird thing to say describing wine, but you know, people talk about tension in wine like this, all, all of the different flavor components of the wine are intense and they're like working together and balanced, but they're like all perfectly in place and like, like the structure of the wine is tight. It's not like just soft and relaxed or like lazy feeling. Um, it's tension like the way that, oh, let me think of the right, the right car Like, oh, this is a good one. Like, aesthetically, the body of a Ferrari F40 has tension. Um, or a 458. Or a Maserati MC12. Um, there's three different wacky car wine analogies. Go, go Google pictures of them right now. So... The structure of this wine tastes the way that a Ferrari F40 looks. Um, it's beautiful and it's functional, but it means business and it's intense. You look at it and you're like, wow, whoa, that's like the, the, like the intensity, the like aggressiveness of how it looks. Um, but it's beautiful at the same time and it's very purposeful. That's... Hey, that's how I think of this wine. Uh, that's what this tastes like. This is crazy. Um, hopefully nobody really um, watches these videos or pays attention to this um, until I can line up a whole lot more supply of this wine because, God damn it, this is incredible. Um, I want to make sure that I still have this in the summer. There, that's it. Now I'm gonna to go to bed so I can go to the airport for something in the morning.